Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back with another video, and this is going to be a little bit of a different video. Uh, this is going to be a sort of artist spotlight, if you will, uh, which is something I've never really done on the channel. And it's, uh, it's an idea that I've kind of played around with for a while, but I never really uh, pursued it. So uh, I'm definitely going to start doing that more on this channel. And I thought, what better day to do that than today? And I'm going to be talking about a band that's not well known at all. They're just really starting out. In fact, uh, they have an EP out called Misery. And the band is called uh, Nine Shrines. Now, I, I honestly can't remember if I've ever even mentioned this band on my channel before. But they're a... Uh, a rock band, maybe I would say a standard rock band, but they're not just rock. They implement all different kinds of rock. You got your standard rock, you got your hard rock, maybe even a little metalcore mix thrown in there with uh, some of the vocal style and uh, some of the uh, delivery of the instruments. And uh, like I said, this is their debut EP called Misery. This came out, uh, when did it come out? 2017, so about two years ago. And uh, they are going to be releasing a debut album on April 26th, and the album is called Retribution Therapy. And uh, they've already released three singles for the album. They're called uh, Ringworm, Nimrod, and... Uh, chain reaction. I definitely recommend you guys check those out. Um, I don't think you'll be disappointed if, if, if rock is your thing, if uh, metalcore slash hard rock slash rock in general is your thing, then I definitely don't think that you will be disappointed. And I could honestly see these guys becoming the next big thing. I really do. If I had to guess well, not guess, but if I had to say, rather, what the lead singer sounds like, to me, he kind of sounds like Adam Gantier of St. Sonia mixed with the lead singer of the band Otherwise. Now, I don't, I don't know the lead singer's name of Otherwise. I apologize for that, but uh, I don't even know if you guys even know who Otherwise is because I, I think that's another band that I haven't really talked about on this channel before. But uh, you pretty much get the idea. Uh, lyrically, these guys uh, are really good. Vocally, it's really good. And instrumentally, it's re really good stuff. No nothing, nothing that you really haven't heard before, you know. But it's definitely something that, in my opinion, would leave you wanting more. And uh, while I... Uh, have, have this here. I'm just going to go ahead and do a little mini review on this EP, Misery. There's only five songs. You have Bend, King of Mercy, Parasite, Lost, and the title track, Misery. Now, um, you know, from a new band just starting out, this album is phenomenal. Well, I say album. This EP is, is phenomenal. I definitely recommend you check these guys out and give them a chance, you know. They're just starting out. Um, apparently, they're on Mascot Records. I've never even heard of that label before. Um, but yeah, songs like King of Mercy and Parasite, definitely go check these songs out. If if nothing more, if nothing else from this album, uh, I keep saying album. I'm just I'm just so used to saying album all the time. But uh, like I said. Check out King of Mercy and Parasite from the CP especially. That it really those two songs really demonstrate just what Nine Shrines are all about. And if you want to check out their latest singles that they just released on Spotify, you get a really good idea just just what their new album Retribution Therapy is going to be about. I think it's really good. Uh, King of Mercy is really where you hear the, the metalcore influence 
because you know you have the uh, you know the standard screaming the verses. Then he comes back and sings the pre-chorus and the chorus. You know the typical metalcore stuff. But in songs like Parasite, Bend, and Misery, uh, this is where you see the standard you know hard rock side of them come out uh, in the vocals, the instrumentation. I can't get over the instrumentation. You know, for a debut EP, it's very good. Um, now, the song Lost, this is the ballad on this EP. It's also really good, too. I mean, this whole EP is worth checking out. There's not a bad song on it. And I could also say the same for the singles that are coming out for Retribution Therapy. There's, there, Nine Shrines doesn't have a bad song, in my opinion. And I really don't think that this is just going to be hype and nothing else. I really think that Nine Shrines are going to deliver not only a fantastic debut album on April 26th, but I also think that they're going to be the next big thing. I could definitely see them touring with the likes of Three Days Grace, Breaking Benjamin, you know, even some metalcore acts like, you know, Bullet for My Valentine, I don't know, Fit for a King, maybe even Demon Hunter, I don't know. But uh, I definitely think that the hype around this band is worth it. And I'm very excited to check out Retribution Therapy when it comes out on April 26th. And yeah, guys, just give Nine Shrines a chance. I honestly don't think you'll be disappointed. And uh, if you end up being disappointed, well, you know what, that's fine too, at least you tried. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave the video as it is for now. Uh, I appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to watch this quick little uh, impromptu video. I didn't actually plan on making a video today. Um, I just got to talking to some friends about the, the Nine Shrines hype. I was trying to hype them up for it. And uh, it just got my mind flowing about how I really wanted to do an artist spotlight. And... Uh, I think this is a good way to start it off. Anyway, guys, uh, let, let me know if you've heard of this band before. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if, after you listen to this band, whether you think they're going to be successful or not. I'm going to go ahead and say yes, just by these eight songs that they have alone. But anyway, yeah. All right, guys, that's enough of my rambling. I'll see you guys next time. As always, leave a comment down below, subscribe to my channel, tell your friends about me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.